Hello, everyone. My name is Alice Bull. I run the membership group at scraphappy.org. If you're looking for your crafty community, come and check us out at scraphappy.org and you can learn about the fun things that we get up to. One of the things we do every month is Scrapbook Live, where I bring myself live on camera and I scrapbook with you usually for about two hours. That is the plan here for today. Um, I get through one to two ish maybe pages we'll see i'm not the fastest scrapbooker but i am so much faster than i used to be which is awesome i'll be using a kit from the scrap room it, you can find information about their kits at scrap-room.com i pay for my kit because i think they are wonderful wonderful kits and i talked with rochelle from the scrap room and she's she had agreed to send them out to me early, like when she sends them out to her actual team. And that has just worked out so well so that I can share them with you in time for you to actually get the kit if you're interested. So I will be using a flavors of the month kit. It is actually a kit that has four little mini kits in it, which I love so much. And um, I also get an add on um, embellishment pack so that I get a few more fun embellishments to play with. And I'll show you those as I go through, but the embellishment is an add on kit. Um, you can also add on things like extra cardstock if you need more cardstock. Um, they have a double shot kit. So if you look at these kits and you think, oh, that's nice, but I would definitely need more papers. Uh, the double shot kit might be the thing for you. I think it's just two kits, but you get more stuff in them. I love the flavors uh, for me because I order a kit every month. Like you can, you can commit to monthly or not to your choice. Um, just order a one-off if you wish to try it. Uh, yeah, I commit to the monthly because I love it. And so in, an, in a year, I get 48 different paper kits, which is all the fun. Okay, um, I'm going to show you what's in my kit for this month for March. I heard, okay, so I didn't even get a chance to look, but they are now putting or making available cut files exclusive cut files, I think every month. I don't know if that starts with April or if that starts with March. I think it was maybe March. If anybody knows, please feel free to put it in the in the text and let me know. That would be awesome. Because I, I, I'm pretty sure it came out this month, but I, I didn't even get a chance to go and print it. I saw it, it said something like spring or something like that on it. I think the cut files are new for March, says Beth, perfect. <laughs> I'm like, I know I saw the cut files. I was really excited, so count on me playing with cut files um coming up not this time though honestly where i live it is not spring so i was like <laughs> i still had snow it was snowing yesterday it looked like a blizzard here yesterday my husband had to take the the snow plow I'm like we've got like one that you get in and drive it's like a cab kind of thing he had to snow plow the driveway there was that much snow again so Go figure. Um, okay, so in my flavors of the month kit, I will tell you the first flavor that you get is actually a coffee sample. Um, and I love the coffee samples so much. I am pretty much just a boring coffee drinker. I generally just drink like plain coffee, but this gives me something just to play with. I, um, I just actually finished, I had a few that I hadn't drank yet and I just finished all of them recently so I was excited to get this one this one um for March is spiced almond toffee yum um so that was in the kit with the kit you kind of get an instruction sheet with some fun things the sketch on this is super beautiful so I think we're going to play with this today I'll just show you there and yeah so let's take a look at the kit uh, Tara says, I live half an hour from Canada. It's definitely not spring here either. I know we're like dreaming of spring, right? That's, that's, that's about as close as it gets right now. Uh, okay, so I'll switch this camera and let's see if we can check it out. So here is my kit and these are the extra add-ons, which we will take a peek at as we go through. I've got my sheet here from the scrap room. And we've got four mini kits in here, just like I was mentioning. Oh, that was like a really bad autofocus thing. Um, can I convince it to do that? 
drives me crazy. Okay, so let's have a look at this first one. This first one is from Damask Love, and it includes uh, three sheets of the pattern paper, two sheets of cardstock, um, some ephemera, a quarter pack of ephemera, and a quarter pack of sticker sheet, and you kind of get a variety. So when they split up the stickers you, and the ephemera, you get part of a packet. So you can see part of a packet. It looks like I've got some speech bubbles, some labels, and a disco ball. How fun is that? Happy, happy, happy. Oh, hey, there's some sunglasses and a little tab. So that's kind of cool. And look at that disco ball. It really is a disco ball. The foil on this is not just silver. It is holographic silver. It has like little tiny spots. So that is really fun. Um, also in the ephemera, I've got um, little die cut pieces here, and there's some lips, <laughs> some lipstick. <laughs> um, they must know that I have an obsession. <laughs> uh, there's some tags, and some of the tags and stuff actually have that holographic foil on them as well. So, oh, check this out. That's really fun. Um, live it up. Awesome a watermelon and hello. Okay, let me just toss those back in here before I lose all the pieces. There's four kits to go through and if I leave them all out, <laughs> it'll be a guessing game. Okay, so two sheets of cardstock um, and it says that there's three sheets here. So already you see a rainbow that you guys know I'm gonna be obsessed with. <laughs> Um, look at this rainbow word paper though. It says, treat yourself. Oh, happy day. Today will be great. Hey, good looking. Sunshine, state of mind. Treat yourself. And it repeats. So yeah, really cute. Oh, good things happen here. Good things happen here. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. And then on the back side of it, just wait for it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Connie says she has snow in Minnesota. And Debbie says it's 70 degrees in beautiful North Carolina. Well, gee, don't I wish I was there. Look at this roller skates. Look at, check out those roller skates. Like how fun is that? I have been following some Instagrammers that do daily roller skate challenges and I am all for it. <laughs> like I need a new pair of roller skates. I had roller skates when I was a teenager. Um, I got them at a secondhand store. They were the ugliest ones you've ever seen. Um, my friends went out and they bought like pretty white ones with like the red and everything, red wheels, but mine were some ugly brown things. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun. Didn't have a lot of space so I could ride roller skates. Not like we had a roller rink or anything. Um, but yes, fun roller skates. Reminds me of my childhood. Uh, we've got some yellow lightning bolts. And we've got this fabulous rainbow paper. It is so beautiful. And then on the back of this one, so on the back of the lightning bolts, we have this yellow daisy paper. And are these pom-poms or something? I think they're maybe pom-poms. It's a little hard to tell. Call them what you will, but really really fun paper but honestly will this ever get used i don't know not when this exists <laughs> let's be real i'm loving this paper though that is really fun paper and i like the little embellishments so what is in my add-on embellishment kit let's have a look okay so damask love i guess let me open this up So to go with the damask love, I get two rolls of washi tape and I got this one that has the silver foil lightning bolts and the other one has little um, cherries. <laughs> I'm like, what are those? They're a fruit. Okay, so Alice has got it together. Talk much. Okay. So that is really fun. I like the first kit. The Mask Love, um, that is a creator. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna have to help me remember her name. She was on a TV show challenge for crafty people. <laughs> the Mask Love, yeah. Somebody must 
know her name. I, I met her in person. I have a picture with her making it. She was on the making it challenge and I cannot think, but her page, like follow her on Instagram. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know if you can look for her on Instagram. If somebody can help me out, that'd be awesome. Okay. Next one up is Echo Park Day in the Life. So we have embellishments in here. So there is um, a bunch of little die cut pieces and there is some, I saw them in here where they're hiding, uh, some enamel dots, which are awesome because they match with this, some nice navy ones. And so there's some cool little pieces. Let's do this. Hello, good vibes only. Yeah, lots of little pieces. Oh, I like the little green one. It says reminder on it. It's like a little flag. Um, so the, those are good little embellishment pieces that come with the kit. So the kids already have some. Yeah, Connie says, I love that Echo Park collection. <laughs> it's great. So three sheets of pattern paper. And the first one has these delicious cameras all over them. I know delicious cameras are not delicious, but look how nice they are. Some of them look like those old Polaroids. Some of them have this little flower embellishment. Some of them have florals right on them. They're so cute. Um, and then it's, oh, it's a cut apart sheet. Even nice. Oh, it says September. So it's a, it's the September cut apart sheet. Looks like they have maybe um, every month, I would guess in this collection. I haven't seen this one. This is nice. Oh, a nice rainbow stripe. Oh, and, and this one is July. Oh, I wonder if every paper actually has amber. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm like, I cannot remember. Oh, Rochelle, hello. The mask love. Her name is Amber. Yeah, so sweet and uh, just so fun. And then, so we've got another cut apart sheet and this one is the June one and it has these great little polka dotty spots and they're kind of in clusters, which looks cool. You can really see it on camera. You almost don't notice as much in, in person. And uh, yeah, so the, they're each a cut apart sheet plus you have this. So that gives you some fun um, pieces to play with as far as titles. I love using little cards as titles sometimes as a little journaling spot. So that's extra fun. And there's a couple sheets of cardstock to go with, perfectly matched. And in my extra add-on kit, we have a sticker sheet. Oh my God, I get the whole sticker sheet. So the whole sticker sheet that I'm holding upside down, um, all of the stickers to go with this. So I've got the all of the months listed here. And now I've been wanting to do a little project that is like a summary of last year, maybe where I pick, you know, 12 photos or maybe 24, because <laughs> like, you know how those projects start. I'm only going to pick like one photo per month and then you pick like 12 <laughs> from each month. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of putting together a little mini book. So I might need this out for my mini book project that I'm going to work on. So very fun. Yeah, I hadn't seen this collection and Rochelle goes out and she finds all the collections, which is awesome. Okay, we'll put that one up. And then the next one I have is the Echo Park, my favorite spring or Easter, my favorite spring. Okay, so this has kind of some spring, but oh, these are pretty. <laughs> these are pretty, okay. So first off, embellishments, the whole 12, by 12 sticker sheet. So I've got all of the stick those rainbows are so cute. Look at the boots and that little duck. Oh. Yeah, okay, that's really sweet. I need to actually get a new incubator because it turns out my mother-in-law is going to use her own incubator at the time that I want to use her incubator. We used to have one, ours broke when she borrowed it and somehow she bought a new one and now it's hers. <laughs> so. <laughs> You know how sometimes things happen. <laughs> so now I don't have an incubator to grow some little baby chickies. Look at this floral, guys. I'm dying. This is so beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. With that new cut file. Oh, this paper. Oh, oh yes. 
And then they've got this yellow and a fabulous plaid. Actually, that is a beautiful plaid. Oh, I'm loving this. My favorite Easter. And then here we go. So it says, it's funny because the stickers say spring and this says Easter. So spring, Easter. Um, and then we've got um, daffodils and tulips and are those hollyhocks or something? To the um bluebells maybe i don't know i'm not <laughs> the floral will be great for hawaii pages says debbie oh debbie do you know what i printed today <laughs> uh, we've got some easter eggs which would be awesome uh, we do have calvin ball going on this month and i heard the funnest story that someone hid one of their um avocados because avocado came up as a challenge they hit it with easter eggs <laughs> That's brilliant. And then we've got a pat, like a, just a gingham. That's pretty paper, I'm telling you. What's on the back of this one? Oh good, it's the gingham because I wouldn't want to sacrifice anything else. It's just too pretty. And then there's two sheets of cardstock to go with. So you have the cardstock. And then in the embellishment pack, the add-on, We've got the enamel dots and it's the whole little packet of enamel dots. No, it's a half. Is it half pack? Oh, it's a half pack. Okay, so half a pack of the enamel dots and look how perfect they are. Honestly, half a pack is enough for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's be real, the enamel dots go stay behind and then they get used on every other project. It, they, they don't get kept with my stuff. <laughs> when you have a whole giant package of them. And finally, so the last one in here is the photo play and, and another candle kit. So it's photo play and another candle. And right off the bat, you can see that I've got the 12, ooh, doesn't like my colors. Um, so my 12 by 12 sticker sheet for this one too. So I did really good on embellishments here. Let's see if I can convince my white balance to play nice. It is doesn't like my countertop very much. I had some other stuff on here, but it didn't like that anymore. Um, okay, so we've got the sticker sheet, full on sticker sheet. It's very birthday, very party. Vintage is in. Happy birthday! It's your day. <laughs> I so needed that the other day. I scrapbooked my dad's 74th birthday. Vintage is in. I could have used that. <laughs> I wonder if I need to do another page with my dad. <laughs> so that's fun. And then we've got three sheets of the pattern paper. And I've got some white cardstock in mine because my kit got packed really early. Wow, this is driving me crazy. Um, Let's see if I can do it here. Bring my phone cord in here and we'll put this underneath. Right? It's gotta, it's gotta be more friends with my phone cord. And get some of this, convince it to, to know what white is. I'm not loving this camera, guys. I'm going to switch to a different one. Um, probably not today, but for next time. Okay, and then we've got three sheets. Uh, my note, my kit has a note. It says there's white substitute cardstock because in the actual kits, it will be tropical slash cardstock. That sounds really fun um, in the kits, but I've got some white as a substitution. Stuff happens and shipping, I wouldn't want to deal with shipping. So honestly, my hat's off to everybody that is dealing with shipping stuff right now. Um, yeah, so it says that it just wasn't in yet. She even left me a note there. So yeah, the birthday papers, oh my gosh, look at those little cakes, the party hats and the green paper. And then we've got, oh, those pretty balloons and some nice pink and a perfect diagonal stripe. This is a good birthday kit, I tell you. I'm excited. That's a really good birthday kit. And so I got the full on 12 by 12 sheet. And in the extra embellishments, 
I have here half a pack of photoplay ephemera. So this will be a variety depending on um, which part of the pack you get. But I got some die cuts. This one says happy birthday. And stop pretending to read the card. I know you're looking for money. <laughs> That's hilarious. You say it's your birthday. Uh, hugs and kisses and birthday wishes. All about that cake. Let's party older and wiser. <laughs> so lots of fun sayings from photo play. Always. Uh, they have some of the best sayings. Hope your day is filled with extra icing. Love. Okay. Well, with that being said, this did not solve my white balance issue. It's disturbing me. Can you convince it to? Okay, so what are we going to be playing with today? Um, we have some photos printed. And the photos that I have are <laughs> us in Hawaii. <laughs> like, that was a really good call there, Debbie. <laughs> that would be great for Hawaii paper. So I do have that floral. I have pictures of us just at the beach enjoying the sunset, which we try to do almost every day. It was our routine every day, go down, catch the sunset. We only missed a couple because there was other stuff happening and uh, we didn't make it down there on time. But most days we were down there at the beach watching the sunset. I like that it doesn't look that it could be only used for a child's birthday. I agree. This is, you know, you're, you're probably not going to use a vintage as in on a, <laughs> on a 10 year old's birthday or a six year old's birthday, but it would definitely work for grown ups. So I do have these pictures these i have this great one that is the spring easter kit but i also have this one and i was kind of I was kind of feeling this one i love the the vibe of it and i love this one so maybe i have more more holiday pictures so let's just say it we're gonna go with this one actually today and so let me go set these ones aside and we're going to get crafting and I'll see if I can keep it on this board and we'll just try to keep this as uh, good as possible. Good morning, Coralie. Marcia says this may be my most favorite kit ever. I know there's so many fun things. I, uh, this, yeah, what a it good to be back to spring and have all these bright fun colors the collections are just filled with fun like every package was just filled with joy <laughs> just filled with joy okay so i have washi tape let's not forget to use some washi tape because i'm terrible at not remembering to use it okay sip and set those up and let's cut off some strips okay so i had pulled out the um the sketch here hold this up here so we can focus on that so i've pulled up the sketch and you can see that the background is a split design which I'm obsessed with, is anybody else kind of obsessed with split designs right now? Um, I know that Chanel was doing a whole bunch of split designs and I did a few of them last year before she started that and I was loving it then. So it just feels like the moment for a split design. And uh, so I'm gonna put this kind of stand it up on my desktop so I can see it as I go. And I'm going to cut the strips off because I'm going to probably be using a little bit of all of these papers. Let's stay. <laughs> I bump it immediately and it falls down. Um, let's get this. 
And I love that um, this kit has the full on cut off pieces. Actually, I cut that cut off piece perfectly, but this side didn't line up very nice. So I'm gonna just trim that again. Does everybody keep a, um, a little bin on their desk for their trash? I've had this one around for a long time. It's, it's kind of looking trashed, but I keep a little bin on my desk for the trash. And I tell you that <laughs> helps because I'm not always trying to find a uh, spot for it. Okay, so I've got my little strips cut off. I love the daisy paper. I love yellow. I love yellow. And then this is just, oh. And these florals, the roller skates. I probably can't, probably can't really use the roller skates, but we'll see if they can fit onto my page in some way. Um, so the design, if I was going to split this design, what would we do? Yellow and this maybe, or this, and then use the stripe, the stuff in the background. Not enough. Not the roller skates. I love the yellow. I could do the yellow and the daisies, but I don't. I just love that yellow. <laughs> I love that stripe. I think I'm gonna have to go with yellow and this and do split for that. So I'm gonna use this white paper that they gave me as my background. And I'm gonna do a split with these two. And then we will build on top of that. And then they've got on the thing, like a little frame almost section for my photos. And I'd like to use solids, but we might end up using this almost as a faux solid. And we'll definitely get some of these words in here because they're so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by cutting these down. I would normally just cut it six by six, but I think I'm gonna save a little space for framing. So I'm actually gonna cut it, um, and three quarters and that just saves me one little step in a minute put these ones aside so that i have extras for those side and then i'm going to cut half an inch off of these and because this one is the stripes, I don't want to like unbalance the stripe, but it looks like there's a little more of this color on this side anyway. So I'm just going to cut the half inch off of that one. And this one doesn't matter. So let's cut the half inch here. Okay, so that's good. Now, I guess my biggest choice that I have is do I want them like this? Did I pick the wrong ones? Did I set the wrong ones aside? That would be hilarious and not unknown to me. Oh, I picked one of the wrong ones. <laughs> you guys, you see this happen in real life. <laughs> Tara says she has a large trash can on her left. <laughs> well, yep, I just did that. So there we go. I grabbed one of the right ones and one of the wrong ones. Okay. I think I like the stripes better on the left. And so we'll set it up like that. Perfect. And I know it's hard to see with the white on the white, but it looks really great having uh, that little white frame kind of around the whole sheet. See, my camera just hates pink. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not having it. We are not friends. People, I like pink. <laughs> I like pink. Mickey says she has a little trash can underneath her desk. Tara keeps it to her left. <laughs> and uh, Lauren says, I like the split design to help use up some pattern papers, right? We buy all these beautiful patterns. We fall in love with all of them. And then, um, you know, we, if we, if we don't uh, commit to some kind of fun design like this, how do we end up getting to use them all? Okay, so let's get this laid down. Um, one of the things that is also going on right now is Calvin Ball. So as I create, let's chat for a minute about Calvin Ball. 
because I have not been creating yet for Calvin Ball. I have been busy, busy, busy. And coming off a load, it is so weird to not be scrapbooking every day. So thank goodness we're scrapbooking today. I actually have some friends coming over this afternoon to scrapbook with me. So not only am I scrapbooking with you this morning, but I'm gonna be scrapbooking with them this afternoon. So today is definitely a scrapbooking day. And we are going to be playing with lots of stuff. So that's fun. Did I line that up straight? No. Mm. Get this lined up straight, maybe. That would look nice. <laughs> straight would be good. There, perfect. Okay, so that looks awesome. So the next part is to kind of create a little um, shelf here to kind of load my photos onto. So I'm gonna trim the photos down. Sounds like today is your day to do all the scrapping. That's right. I know, Maggie says you haven't created for Calvin Ball yet. No, <laughs> no, I haven't. In fact, there's actually, I'm gonna start probably this afternoon by going back to one of my load layouts that I'm really unhappy with and I'm gonna go and just fix a layout first so I'm not even gonna be doing Calvin Ball first thing this afternoon I have to get this one layout I just am not happy with how it turned out and it has to be redone so <laughs> that's fine um it, it's such a good story but I just didn't like how the page came out Okay, so let's talk about Calvin Ball points. So I printed this off using where we're sitting today um, with our permanent points and our temporary points. And um, for Calvin Ball, it's a challenge that we do. Uh, the Scrap Happy community hosts it. We're doing this in our circle community, but there's a special place that everybody can join us. It's totally free. If you're seeing this and you're like, I want in on the fun. Go and sign up. It's totally free. Go to scraphappy.org slash Calvin Ball. Sign up for free and you will be put into our community and can access the Calvin Ball spaces. Um, um, you, you don't need to create an album, Sharon. You, if, as long as you're posting um, each post, of, she says, I haven't figured out how to upload and create an album like I did last year. Um, all you have to do is make sure you're starting a new post, not like a comment for each time you post. Then when you click on your name, you'll be able to see all of your posts. And um, that allows you to see all of the pages that you created. So that as long as you do it as I have instructed, then it totally works out. And uh, yeah, so permanent bonus points. We keep some of the rules. Um, think of the rules like point opportunities. Uh, when you're creating a scrap of page or a card or some other project, mini albums or whatever, then you can, um, if you use the rules, you get a point for each one. And so you get a point for making a layout to start with, and then you get a point right now on the permanent rules, date your project. Now, <laughs> this is number one, probably because I'm terrible for doing this. So I was like, Alice, you need to put dates on your stuff. Go ahead and date your project. So point for dating. Uh, vellum. Uh, use vellum. An avocado. <laughs> Might be a challenge. I didn't, I, I didn't see any avocados in here today, but it's on the list. Mostly because we have a new mascot that is an avocado. So there is a story behind that. Uh, put away five layouts. So that's technically not a do it on your scrapbook page. But if you put five layouts into your albums, then you're putting away five layouts and that counts as a point. Use a camera, use washi tape, use a cut file, uh, stamping, birthday, something birthday related, uh, tropical florals or leaves, use a stencil, use arrow, cloud, mail a card, um, a rainbow shape, frame, a star. So it doesn't say rainbow, like, so I can't get away with just claiming this paper um, this beautiful, beautiful paper. But if I use an actual rainbow shape, then that would count. Um, a star. Temporary bonus points. So these ones get added to the list and they're there for an unknown amount of time. And they're there for a while and then they will disappear. They get removed from the list. So they're kind of like a use it or lose it kind of situation. That's how I think about the temporary bonus points. Use it or lose it. 
Um, so green memorabilia that you collected or saved, airplane, cobweb or spider, bees, gold, polka dots, enamel dots, use blue and yellow together. So, um, I think that was suggested, um, that one and sunflowers were both suggested for Ukraine, just, you know, anybody that wants to know. Um, sunflowers, hedgehog, house, hand-colored image, a duck, a speech bubble, a musical symbol, and silver. So those are things that are on our list right now. <laughs> yeah, you just answered my question about the temporary points for Calvin Ball. Perfect, yeah. I just think of them like a use it or lose it. You don't know how long they're gonna be there, but they're there for now. And if you create something while it's there, then you get to count them as points. So there's 17 things right now on the permanent list. 17 on this list, obviously there was a couple things that don't really count for scrapbooking, but you know, a layout can be worth what, 35 more points, <laughs> like whatever it is, like you'll figure out the math. Um, then we also have giveaway points for sharing. If you're sharing on social media, if you share in our Calvin Ball gallery, if you, you know, there's lots of ways to interact, um, leaving comments on um, other people's creations also counts. So there's a lot of ways to engage with Calvin Ball and have some fun with uh, the community. And oh my gosh, like the level of productivity that some people have is astounding to me. Like I, I don't even know how they do it. So I, there is, yeah, just scrapbookers that are making like 10 pages a day or something. Like, <laughs> And I say 10 and there some of them are doing more than 10 um, and it's just incredible. Um, so next Tuesday, we are going to have a Calvin Ball crop. So they're different than these Scrapbook Live sessions because Scrapbook Live is more of my chance to talk your ear off. But um, during our Calvin Ball crop, um, it's all about what you're creating. Like we'll be doing some different things. We'll be scrapbooking together. That is the goal, but we'll also be giving a lot of opportunities for people to share what they've created and, <laughs> um, and then I think that, um, yeah, it's just really fun to see what everybody else is making and to get the chance to share. And then we get to see there's proof that day that everybody has their own tech problems, <laughs> not just Alice. <laughs> Cameras up and tech problems, that's a real thing. But it's it's a lot of fun and it's just a really good chance to hang out and uh, yeah, enjoy some time together and get a little crafting done while we're at it. Oh my gosh, this autofocus is killing me. Okay, so we're here's where we're at. I've got some photos trimmed down. I think I'll lay them out like this. And actually, I love that I use this yellow now because I'm looking at my, my husband's shirt and it's a really good fit for this paper. Um, Andy says, what counts as a cut file? Does a die cut from a metal die count or anything cut on an electric cutter? I would think that if it's like that, wouldn't that count like a die, die cut, cut file? Does it have to be like an electronic cut file to be cut? Like, I don't know. Like I have this one that I was looking at actually. I left it on my desk because I love it and I haven't used it yet. I just bought it from um, close to my heart. And to me, like when this cuts out, this looks like a cut file. <laughs> April says, I use dies on everything but I was afraid to count it as a cut file. <laughs> I don't know. Like if we cut file are we drawing the line there i don't know but like if i cut something with this would it not count like if i cut this out would you not think that this was a cut file like seriously actually that would look pretty good <laughs> right there <laughs> now that i'm looking at it stars is on the list and that is pretty right that's in there yeah i just ordered it at the end I know, <laughs> and it would count for two, a cut file and a thing. So there you go, you're, you're all giving me permission. I feel that I have permission now. <laughs> so yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty fun one. Okay, so we're gonna do that. My Gemini is sitting right here on my desk, you guys. Um, so we're gonna 
uh, use that. I have that other sheet of cardstock, so I'm actually going to use a piece of that, and we're going to cut it because I don't know that I want to put another color on here. I think that's just going to be too busy. But the white on there, mm, I think that'd be pretty. Okay. <laughs> okay. So something happened with my lights. I swear, if I make it through today, that will be amazing. Okay. Let's uh. Let's trim this down so it will fit. I'm going to run it through my Gemini right now. So I got a Gemini machine because I was, I like using my dies, but I don't like using my dies. Andy, that it says rainbow, it says rainbow shape <laughs> specifically. It says rainbow shape, not, not just a rainbow. So it's not the shape of a rainbow. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this in here, doing it the right way, <laughs> still remembering, still learning. Um, my friend April had showed me that a thing where you're supposed to offset them and not always just put everything straight on and you'll actually um, do better with your stuff over time. Or do I want it on the smooth side? I'm gonna get whatever comes out of there. It's gonna be great. And I just keep it right handy. I don't know that I can move it close enough to put it on camera. Can I drag it on camera? Maybe. Should we do I do I dare? Does everything stay plugged in? Okay, the edge of it might make it on camera. Am I gonna knock over something dangerous here in, in the meantime? Maybe. Okay. So the Gemini is right here. I'm gonna feed it in here. And I just love the way it uh, it does the work and I don't have to do that grindy grindy thing today. Um, the sketch that I'm using is actually came with my March kit from the scrap room. So it makes the creepy noises. <laughs> I'm gonna have to order a new plate because I'm sure at some point I'm going to have a blowout of my plate and then I'm gonna be all sad because I've actually been using it so much. So that's so easy, right? Um, and I'm gonna pull the little stars. Now I have actual little stars that I could use too. Um, but so easy you know you put it in on one side it comes out the other you grab your piece and it's done um and it cuts so nice like i've been really impressed with how well it cuts okay so let's just take that out of there that's my leftovers this is my die so you'll notice with this die that some of the stars are not full stars. Can you see that? It's not a full star because of the way that they're layered. So some of those pieces that are cut out aren't very useful, but some of them would be for actual using on things. Okay. Just gonna take those and pop those all there. Um, I just put my Gemini on a little shelf stand that you put into the cupboard so that underneath I could put a paper tray and then I store this in the paper tray right underneath it and uh, that seems to work out really well for me so that's just my little tip that um that I did I'm going to grab my tool and you'll notice that so the the main part the outline part is still all in here. I'll just take my tool, poke it through, and the whole thing is popping right out. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. When I saw that cut file, like the die cut, the we're, we're crawling it a cut file today. Uh, it's so pretty. <laughs> yeah. Tuck them under other things. I do that all the time for those incomplete cuts. Yeah, so I couldn't use it as a full thing, but tucked underneath there, look, there's a star. If you're seeing other stars, you're not looking at that like as a broken star, right? So there you go. Tip of the day, April. 
Okay. Okay. So let's bring this back to my center a little bit. Oh, how nice is that? Okay, I definitely need something to like ground these guys. And I still want to use some of this paper. Now, this would not make a good grounding paper. I just don't think so. It's too white. But the roller skates, the roller skates have enough of the blue. Is it going to work or is it not the right color? Um, it's okay. The daisies, the daisies are too white. So I've got the pink or the roller skates kind of as options here. I think I'm gonna have to layer whatever I choose with some white too. Um, let's go with, I'm gonna go with the blue because it kind of feels like it matches with my backgrounds a little bit more. And I won't be using up all of this roller skate paper. So, you know. Hopefully I'll have a little bit left to talk about my poor roller skates that I had as a kid. <laughs> Didn't help that I was kind of right at the max size for them. <laughs> like I was growing out of them almost by the time I bought them. What's on the back of the roller skate? That was the um, words. And I definitely want to use some of the words, but they just don't fit for matting with that. But that's okay. I knew that because I chose to use this and the yellow, that there was gonna be some issues with layering, but I was more willing to do that because I just love those other back, like the other colors as the background so much. And like with this, you're not gonna see the roller skates, but that's okay. Like that's not the idea. I'm using it as blue background paper, not as roller skate paper. Um, these need to get flipped. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna stick these down and then we'll move on. And I think I'll mat this blue one with some white as well. And I think that's gonna help a little bit too to make it stand out off of the colors. The backgrounds are just so bold. And this being such a soft color. Um, and if, if you looked at this roller skate paper and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with roller skate paper? Because I'm not going to be scrapbooking something with roller skates. Well, using it like a mat like this, where you pretty much don't see that it's a roller skate, uh, that can be a good way to use one of them. And just thinking of it, like what color is the paper? What color do I need? <laughs> Go roller skating so you need the paper. I'm a little scared to actually try roller skating as an adult. <laughs> I'll admit, like, there is some fear there. Fear of falling is real now. <laughs> but I also don't really have a good place to go roller skating at. I could try going to the local park that we have and maybe see if I can go, like, around the, the track, like, loop or whatever. Oh, look at this. This is, like, my leftovers of the die cut. And I think that would go underneath there just fine. And let me like reuse that paper. Just pull that off of there. And then I'm not even just wasting that either. It's already like cut up. Perfect. <laughs> just in case anybody was wondering, Alice, likes to be economical with her paper, even though she wants all of the papers. <laughs> uh, so question, what counts as a painted image? So are you talking about like an image that you color? I think it would be something like if you stamp something and then you color it. I actually have a an image that I stamped out that I'm waiting to color. So these are little fairies and they reminded me of stories that I read as a kid. So <laughs> that might be a thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, go roller skating to me. I broke, Elizabeth said she broke her elbow roller skating as an adult. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, I have the right to be scared. <laughs> like, this can happen, guys. 
I am right to be to, to be somewhat concerned. All right. Um, that's cute. Oh, I think this is a little too much white. Okay, I'm just gonna stick it on here first. Um, yeah, I just need to clean up. Um, what if you stamp something and color it using a stencil? Um, yeah, I'd say that would count, right? Because you're coloring it with the with the inks using the stencil. I would say that would count. Like it's that effort where you're actually doing the coloring part of the thing. I think that's kind of what what would count as that. Like, you know, I, I don't like to play like <laughs> the rule master kind of I do. I like putting on the rules and laughing because like you guys suggest the stuff and then I just put it on the list. And so that that's kind of one of the hilarious parts of Calvin Ball to me is that while I play ringmaster, I kind of don't really like it's it's not all my fault. <laughs> I just get to laugh at it all. Um, okay, so in the sketch, there is um, an extra little layer here, an extra little layer. And I think that would be perfect for some of these words. So I'm gonna pick some of the ones that really, um, that really work. For example, the green one says sunshine state of mind. Right here, this one says treat yourself, work for it, good things are here. But I really like the sunshine state of mind. Um, so it means I'm gonna have to really chop into this to get to it, but I think that'll be, today will be great. Oh, happy day. So yeah. Okay, right. I'm just gonna cut it and <laughs> like, I know it's sacrificing more of the roller skate paper, but if I need it, I, I just guess I'd have to buy more of it. <laughs> so, uh, say love you. Um, cut down to here, and then we'll see how much I need. Okay, I'm just going to cut it there because that kind of cuts the words apart where I want them. And and then it has banners and stuff. I don't have any like word spot on here actually yeah no i'm gonna do it let's stick it down okay let's stick it down And we're going to stick this down. So with stuff like this, I usually use a little bit of liquid adhesive to uh, just tack down a few little points on it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Just grab a few little corners with my adhesive. I don't work with liquid glues very often because uh, it's messy. <laughs> um, ever since I got the little end for this one though, um, I've felt like where has this been all my life? I have used the close to my heart liquid glass as my go-to adhesive for a very long time. But the fact that I did not, <laughs> I did not have the um a proper tool to apply it and i've been struggling for so long i'm like what have i done <laughs> what have i done because oh my goodness 
has it been so much better now that I have this tool? Okay, so that's that's fun. Actually, I wish there was a few more pieces. Actually, we'll see. Maybe I can take some of these star pieces and use a couple of those to extend the top and the bottom a little to kind of bring the fun kind of off of there a little, right? That makes sense. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Okay, so we've got that. Now we can stick this down. And then um, the reason I like the applicator tip, I, you have to order it separate. It has like this little needle end. It kind of totally blocks the, the thing. And then it always works. Putting it back in is always my greatest challenge. Once I get it, we're good to go. And then next time I pick it up, it's just easy. And because it's so micro fine, it's great. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> she's like, excuse my cat. <laughs> uh, can you use watercolors? Does that be paint? Eh, watercolors to me is color is, you know, you're putting the color in there. I would say that counts you. I don't know. <laughs> coloring is coloring. Are people going to be looking and saying, oh my god, she didn't use the right markers? <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't. <laughs> Maybe somebody would. That's uh. It's like when we do our load challenges, people are like, well, does this count? And does this count? I'm like, is it a layout to you? And they're like, yes. I'm like, then it's a layout to me. <laughs> like, that's the rule. And actually that's, that's the rule that Lane had said when she had created load years ago. And I'm like, works for me. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. So they were putting the title here, but they didn't have this fabulous thing. And I think the title needs to be over here now. And I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But I'm going to pull. Um, oh my crap. I don't have that many leftovers, you guys. I have like gone hard on these supplies for this page. Let me tell you. Like, let me show you in a minute. I'll show you what's left over. Like, it's not a lot. I got these pieces and this. Now I'm using it up. And so I don't care if there's leftovers. I'm, that's not my goal. But I'm telling you, I'm, we're, we're being quite uh, efficient at getting this stuff on here. Okay, so fun things. Um, <laughs> well, there is an awesome, and it does feel awesome. Although, is that too? Well, maybe the title has to go over here. It looks not, does it look as good over here? <laughs> Ooh, I think it goes right here. That's exactly where it goes. Um, my title is going to be awesome and I'm going to use this. And if the word is being split in half. I'll tell you, it bothers me a little. <laughs> I'll tell you, it bothers me a little. <laughs> there are no scrapbook police, is Mickey. <laughs> I know, but with Calvin Ball, I do get requests. <laughs> I'm just going to say. Oh, my husband was in my room and he took all my scissors that I use on my adhesive. I have scissors that oh are good for adhesive and some that aren't. Here we go. I got them back. Oh my God. Was that gray hair on my head? Probably. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like the reality. <laughs> Once I wasn't going to my hairdresser all the time during COVID, I got to find out what color my hair really was. And it's like, oh, it's not that color. Nobody told me it was that color. <laughs> My hairdresser is really nice. <laughs> no touching my scissors. I know he was helping me rearrange the tech stuff. So, you know, I'll give him a pass because I was like, my stuff isn't working. Help. <laughs> I'll give him a pass. Um, I think those little corners are going to need a little bit of support. Um, this feels like a lot of adhesive. <laughs> I don't usually use that much on a pop up thing. Um, yeah. But this is looking so good. And so, oh, I don't think I told you guys right off the top, we're doing a draw. <laughs> so I'm just about done this part. And when I'm done this part, we're going to be doing a draw for a free kit from the scrap room. 
Oh my gosh. I almost always say that right in the beginning, but you know, you're here with me now. So, you know, that's what's important. Um, they had a cute little thing up here. We'll see if that happens sometimes. Sometimes it does. <gasps> oh, guys. Uh, okay, so let's go back to that list for a second. Now, this is where the list starts to shine. In the embellishment, I struggle with embellishment stuff like this, right? Like getting the little details on at the end. But let's have a look. How can I score a few extra points? So this is like where I get to explore my stash. So date my project. Yes, I will do that. Vellum. I didn't bring any vellum out, but like that doesn't mean I couldn't, right? So I could still get a little vellum on this project. Um, avocado. I would have to go dig in for something like that. Camera. So put away five layouts, obviously is separate, but a camera. I know there was a camera and then another kit there, or I probably have one sitting. Maybe I have a, another little thing, a cut file. I think this can was honestly. Um, stamping. I haven't done that yet, but I could stamp my date on and that would be really good. Yay, exciting. I know. It's like, have a draw. Birthday. Well, this is not a birthday project. So um, I think that's probably out. Tropical florals or leaves. That would be very appropriate on here. There's not one in this kit, but if I snuck one on during my little final doodads, I think that would be appropriate. Use a stencil. That's not going to happen on this one unless I needed like a little stenciling in the corners or something, who knows? Um, an arrow, I love arrows. In fact, I have a yellow arrow sitting here that could totally make it on my page. <laughs> I, I, I have a yellow one and a black one and I was giving myself options for a project the other day. Um, yeah, and so what a lot of people do is they just put together a little bowl or something like that of doodads that are kind of related to this list. And then they'll have some things that they can just pull out and add. So a cloud, um, a rainbow shape, uh, you know, frame, not use a frame, a star. Definitely got the star point. Green, there is green here. So I've definitely used some green. Memorabilia that you collected or saved not on this page, airplane, no, cobweb or spider, no. <laughs> I laughed so hard when that was said. <laughs> um, bees, ah, oh, that would be fun actually. A bee would be fine. I wouldn't mind putting like a little doo -doo -doo bee on there. Gold, mm, polka dots, didn't make it. Enamel dots, that could make it. Uh, blue and yellow together, this doesn't really, this is teal. I would never call this blue, so I can't call it blue even there. There's blue. There is yellow. So maybe uh, sunflowers. No hedgehog. No, I do have a really cute hedgehog, but it's not going on this page. A house. No hand colored image. It's not going to make it a duck. A speech bubble, though. So I can definitely use one of these speech bubbles. And I think that could be fun. So awesome. And then <laughs> our daily trek to the sunset. Sure, I'll do that. And I'm just going to put it down low instead of popping it up so that I can write on it easier. So that speech bubble's on there. And silver. So if I use one of these little pieces that has some of the silver on it, I would get some silver on my page. Oh, this one says live it up. Oh, and then I could do another little bubble. Um, am I getting carried away? Maybe. Actually, do I hate it? I'm not sticking that down yet. <laughs> I'm gonna play. Maybe a little rainbow over my title. See, this is how you, this is how I think about all of it, right? It is like, does this fit? How about that? We don't have tags on the list, but you know, I could definitely have like a little tuck tag on here or something. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's where I'm going to sit for right now. I'm not sure. Probably going to use like one of these little arrows or something to get my arrow point, but I'll get a few more points for this right now. I have a, oh, I didn't stick those down. They're all flying away. 
Okay, so let's stick those down at least. Um, and then we can do the draw. So that's really fun. So the kit that you will win if you are a winner, lucky, lucky winner today, is a one of the um, flavors of the month kits from the scrap room. And I, you know, it, they've actually set aside one of the March kits for you. So it's all the stuff, except for the add-on embellishments, right? Because those are a separate thing. But if you chose that you wanted the add-on embellishments, you could just reach out to them and say, hey, here's my money, take this. And um, yeah, probably do that as well. Um, unless, unless they're out, but it's March the 5th today. So this is good, good timing. Okay. I like that. We're going to keep this with it. Actually, I'm going to toss it right in here and I'm going to show you what's left because like, there is not a lot left. <laughs> there is not a lot left. Okay. So this is all I have left for cardstock from this one. And then these are the little pieces of pattern paper that are left. That's it from the roller skate paper. Um, and uh, this is also the roller skate paper. So there's that. There is half a sheet of this one. And there is almost half a sheet of this one because I cut it wrong. <laughs> it would have been half a sheet, but I cut it wrong. <laughs> okay, so that's all that's left, right? I have enough to make another page though. So it'd be fun. So no, it's not too late to jump in on, on Calvin Ball. Hop in and have fun with it, right? I think for me, it's just like that one more thing to help me use the little pieces on, uh, on my projects. So let me go back to my face and we will do our draw. There we go. Jenna says, I love this page. Thank you. I, I was like, just the papers were just so fun to me. If the papers are fun, I knew my pictures were already fun. So that just makes such a big difference when uh, it comes to creating stuff. So I'm going to pull up a random number generator. Um, it is not the, maybe the easiest way to do this because there are 54 of us. One of them is me. So out of 53, um, we're going to hit the generate button. Dun, 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 dun. 30. Oh, that's some counting. <laughs> Either way, that's counting. So let's pull up the participants list. Nine and 30. Laura Ross. Laura Ross, you are our winner today. Winner, winner, chicken dinner for Laura Ross. And you will receive one of these kits. Laura, I need you to pop me an email. I'll get you to email me. <laughs> she, she had suggested the rainbow over my title. So uh, Laura, I'll get you to email me, um, alice at alicebull.com. So Laura Ross. And that is our March scrapbook live winner. So if you can do that right away, that would be perfect. And I'll be able to send that over to Rochelle as soon as we're done. Let me uh, have a message. There we go. Yeah, let's type it in here so that you have it. There we go. Congrats, Laura. I know. It was so fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm going to continue creating, probably not with this page anymore, because I'm kind of at that point where I want my story to kind of fit into here. And before I add extra embellishments, I want to kind of work that in together. That's something that I usually do. I'm going to pick up the leftover little pieces of stars just in case I need some of those little pieces and put that with all of this and my layout piece. And then we're gonna pull out some more pictures. So I do have 
more pictures. And pull those out here. Okay. So Shannon says, have a great day, everyone. Yeah, I'm not quite done yet. So I'm going to keep playing. If you want to stay in scrapbook, that's up to you. I don't have any more draws for you, <laughs> but, but I'm going to be hanging out and I'm going to make another page and play with that because yeah, this one turned out so good. And now I just want to do more stuff. So let me put that there. So it's out of my way and I'm going to pull out another, another piece. So yeah, I just love it. You guys are so, so kind. Everybody's saying congratulations. <laughs> um, that's really fun. Okay. Yes, have fun making some great layouts. I know, like this one. And if you uh, like, you'll get your your supply list. You'll see the sketch there. You'll be like, oh yeah, that's the one that Alice did. <laughs> okay, so with these other kits, let's pull these other ones back out again. I have pictures. They are a little more wintry. They're actually from um, Christmas. So the spring one is probably not going to be what I choose for this one. Um, the birthday kit. Oh, spring or birthday or day in the life. And none of those are actually feeling like a fabulous fit because it wasn't birthday. I wonder if I should just print off a birthday one we actually got together for my nephew's birthday recently and that was really fun so maybe what i'll do is uh, do that are the albums behind you 12 by 12 or life created they are 12 by 12 we are memory keepers albums uh, that i ordered directly from we are memory keepers actually all in one go <laughs> and then i realized i needed a couple other ones and so i had to order a couple more but um yeah, I ordered them almost all at once and got them, which, you know, if I was going to pay shipping, I was going to just pay shipping once <laughs> to Canada, especially, but I really like them. Uh, they're um, D-Ring albums. And for me, the D-Ring is definitely, um, definitely what I love. Okay. So these kits are not to work with those pictures. I should have paid attention more. I just saw pictures that I hadn't scrapbooked yet. And I was like, oh, well, let's do those. Um, but if I just have a look quick at what, what I have for pictures um, from my nephew's birthday that was recently, that would be fine. I did my dad's birthday already. Otherwise I would totally just use this for my dad's birthday. It was really fun. We had a tropical, my mom hosted a tropical party for his birthday and it was so cute. Uh, she set up a giant umbrella that you would normally have on your deck. It was giant in her living room, kind of like laying half on the ground and uh, she put a beach chair underneath it. And then she had a little palm tree that she's had for years and she brought that out and she hung a, a string of flamingo lights on it. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. She says she sent me her info. That's perfect. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at these pictures. Uh, hilarious. Okay. Well, I don't know how many pictures I want to print, but I can see the pictures now. So I can create with a plan for that. I think what I'll do is leave like a little grid space in the middle because I see some vertical and some horizontal. So I'll probably pick two horizontal and two vertical and just make a little grid in the center. So I'll pull out these birthday papers and we're going to play with those. And I'll do his birthday with that. And he's actually wearing a green shirt and his mom is wearing like almost light green, but you know, if you look at it in the right light, you could think it was teal. So I think this will actually work out really, really nice. Um, yeah. yeah, I know the, those layouts or the albums, they're so fun. They're so pretty. I just, I love that they had so many fun colors. Tara says, I'm supposed to be doing our weekly Saturday morning clean. The kids are, but I'm being lazy. <laughs> You're being productive in a different way, Tara. Like really, that's what it is. You're just being productive in a different way. <laughs> 
that's, uh, you know, we have to give ourselves grace sometimes. Okay, so let's go back to this. Let's see if we can convince my white balance to play along. If it's not autofocus, it's white balance these days. Um, I have, uh, maybe we'll try doing the link through the iPad next time because it doesn't seem to have these issues. So uh, I just need different gear for up top to support it. Okay, so I love these papers a lot, a lot, a lot. And there were several that made my eyes pop with excitement when I saw them. Uh, let's go with that. <laughs> Andy says, my kids are also cleaning upstairs without me. You guys are good parents. You guys are good parents, right? You, you put those kids to work and you're getting them to do their stuff. That's, that's called good parenting, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay so i think what we're gonna do i'm gonna do a little grid here i think it would be fun to have more splashes of color in the background because i won't really um need to have all of that so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to cut this into a five and a three quarters and I'll do it right this time and not cut the one piece that I saved. So I'm going to cut this into a five and three quarter square. And I'm going to cut this one into a five and three quarter square. And I'm going to do the same for the other papers. My kid is off playing Dungeons and Dragons with her friends. <laughs> we recently played, I don't know what's it called. We just call it the horse race game <laughs> for my dad's birthday. And it was so much fun. Oh, I love that stripe. Okay, no, it's gonna be fine. We're, we're doing something different. Uh, okay, let's see. <laughs> Every time I see a diagonal stripe, I want to use it as the background border for a page. Like every time I see it, it's like you can do other things. That's fine. Winter circle, maybe it has like this little board and it has these little horses on it that you move forward and you roll the dice and you kind of gamble with money. Like for us, like my mom just has a little container full of nickels and dimes and quarters that she set aside just for the game. So uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay, um, actually, I'm going to need one more square. Otherwise, this would be really bad at math, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to choose which one. Party hats in pink. I think we're, oh, now we're going to go with the green for my nephew. We're going to do with the balloons. I'm going to choose another one. And do five and three quarters. I need two of this one. Okay, now I saw this kind of idea, sort of. <laughs> I'm adapting an idea I saw. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Okay, so what I have here are these um, pieces and I could lay them down and this would all just be really nice or whatever, right? Like that would be great. But all of this paper is lovely and double-sided. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually cut it in, um, in a diagonal corners. And then I'm gonna have the other pieces to flip over. And I think this all works. <laughs> like math-wise, like these are squares. So math-wise, this should work. That's what I keep telling myself. Right, so we're gonna have these lovely squares to play with. So this is the issue when you have things that are the right way up. Um, because that will bother me if I put the balloons on sideways. There, these ones can go here. 
and the words also will have to go the right way. But I think that if we do that, hmm, I want, yeah, I'll cut through the diagonal like that. Um, yeah, so we're gonna turn this into the background. No, I'm doing that wrong. I've got some of these wrong. It's fine. We'll get there. <laughs> uh, I want them to not be like that, which means I've got to move them. I want all of the little ends to come out of there. There we go. And this will... Why am I looking at this so dumb? <laughs> okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> it took a minute, guys. <laughs> I, it took a minute. Um, is it really over $100 for the board game? Yeah. <laughs> my, my mom has one that is like super, yeah, she paid a fortune for it. And we've had it for quite a long time. I think she said that she paid $80 and that was well over 10 years ago. But it's really fun it's really easy to play everybody can roll and you know that's pretty much how it works and yeah it's just a fun game we hadn't had it out for a while okay so i don't think i can switch some of these anymore if i want to have these vertical they kind of got to stay here but i'm i'm happy enough with this um would i have separated the green ones more probably do i have that option and still have them vertical no so we're going with it. <laughs> so we're going with it. But yeah, so I've got this. And now when I do my little thing in the center, this whole center is going to be covered. But you're just going to see like these little hints of, of stuff around the edge, right? And it's going to be so cute. That is good. And then... Bring this right down to the edge. So we should have just a little, little edge all the way around here. If I get the first pieces on straight, that will do a lot better about getting the rest done. Yeah. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we hadn't actually sat down and played games. Normally we do at Christmas, but my mom had done a big saran wrap um, present that was filled with little presents and we played a game for that. So we didn't end up playing other types of board games at Christmas. And yeah, lots of times we just sit around and visit. So, <laughs> so, so we don't always play games, but yeah, this was fun because we sat and played games and Got to hang out and visit with everybody. It's good to have a mix, I think. Okay, this one is almost good. good. Now I just have to make sure I, as long as I tape on the proper size of these, this should, this should look great. Uh, Tara says, I did this around red ball with the homeschool teens for their Christmas party. It's so much fun. The hardest part is just figuring out, like, what can you put into the ball, right? <laughs> like, what are we going to put in there? It was fun because, um, like my uncle, he was pushing 80 or something like that when we were playing with him and he was right in there like a dirty shirt taking his turn rolling the dice and wrapping the presents <laughs> like it was yeah it was just really fun to see that you can have youngsters and um like it's it was good for all ages that's what I'm trying to say that's what I'm trying to say If I had four sheets of pattern paper for this, this would, you know, I wouldn't have had to repeat some of these ones. And if I had wanted to, I could have, you know, repeated 
I don't know, different patterns or something. I don't know. Maybe you could do it just with two instead of three if you want more repetition and less of the differences. So it really just depends on how you want to lay it out. But there we go. So here's my background. So I think this is pretty fun. So lots of fun. And once this part is covered, and I chose to repeat the green because my cut, like my nephew's birthday it was, it was, he was wearing green. So that's why I chose the green one to really feature as a duplicate. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what size to cut this down to since I didn't print those pictures. Um, let's have a look. I'm going to read some comments and maybe what we'll do is I'll, I'll ask people if they want to share any anything here today. Uh, Mickey says my friend and I love board games. We regularly have board games. Um, let me switch it out here. Uh, we regularly have board game nights and we also have board game cafe, which is awesome. Oh, that would be fairly fun. And Tara says the Saran Revolt took hours to make. Yes, <laughs> they are commitments. And you need more rolls of Saran Wrap than you think. <laughs> yes, uh, my mom just got it at the dollar store. <laughs> she, she didn't buy any kind of special stuff. Um, April says she got new swatches made for her pink fresh eggs and got them into pockets. Warning, coin pockets are slightly less than two by two, so cut your swatches accordingly. <laughs> um, and Marcy says, I love board games as well. Going to a board game birthday party tomorrow and board and play games almost every Saturday night with my husband's best friend. See, that's so fun. Uh, Mickey says, for my birthday a couple of years ago, I bought myself the re-release of Mall Madness. I don't know that one. And he says, Tap 4 is a fun game and it can be played with almost 11 people. It's on Amazon for like 15 bucks. Uh, we, when my kids were little, we ended up with this card game and it was called Moose in the House. And um, it has, it has pictures of a moose in different house, like different rooms in your house. And you kind of have to collect them or get rid of them. Or I don't even remember anymore, but you have like a moose in the kitchen and a moose in the bedroom and a moose in the living room and a moose in the bathroom. So I think there was four rooms in it and it just has these pictures on these cards. And um, it was just really funny. And you had blocker cards like where you closed the door so the moose couldn't get in there or something like that. It was, it was a funny game, but I was really thinking of it recently because we've had a moose in our backyard this past week. And the one night we were sitting in the hot tub and there's this moose, like all of a sudden I could hear like breaking trees, right? You hear the breaking of the trees. So they actually eat the trees <laughs> they, they eat trees like willow trees poplar trees like a lot more of the softer trees generally they're they kind of eat the bark but i think they eat the whole tree like they eat little branches off the trees so they're out there pruning the trees and uh, my husband said something about a moose in the house and i'm like oh my god that would just be a disaster a moose in the yard sounds awesome generally <laughs> generally <laughs> like if we haven't had issues although a few years ago um there was a moose that kept coming back in the yard and it was licking the salt off of the vehicles. So you'd have these big patches of like where the moose had licked the salt of the vehicles. It was like so funny. Um, yeah, but it's, it's, it's exciting to see, but you kind of just want to pay attention to when you're going outside, <laughs> you don't want to get too friendly. Um, yeah, but I, I enjoy seeing them. I, I always get excited. Uh, yeah, lots of fun. Okay, so at this point, I would like to ask anybody that is interested in sharing to um, to share, then please go ahead and put your hand up. I'm just going to remind you that I share these um, videos publicly on my YouTube channel, so they are public. So if you're sharing, this will be public. So please choose whether that's for you or not. And um, yeah, I would welcome anyone to share. If you'd like to share, maybe what I will get you to do right now is to put a, um, put your, take your microphone off for a second, and then I'll, uh, I'll see that you've unmuted yourself and I can bring you up one at a time. 
to share whatever you've been working on so we can see your fun stuff that you're that you're creating. I can't wait. This is going to be so fun. I just, I wish I had printed the pictures for this one already. And I could sit here and do it, but like talk about torture, <laughs> watching somebody like select pictures and print the right sizes. And uh, yeah, so really fun. Alice, question, how are the chickens? The chickens are good. <laughs> We're actually um, saving some eggs so that we can incubate. I just gave some eggs to my mother-in-law because her chickens, um, her dogs got in with her chickens and that didn't go very well. So she's down on some chickens right now. I know, I know she was upset. It was puppies, not even just the dogs. They played with them and yeah, she didn't go well. So she was feeling really bad. So she's going to incubate some eggs and uh, do some eggs. But I like to hatch eggs for Easter. Easter is actually on my anniversary this year. So um, I would really like to have some little baby chickies <laughs> for myself. So we're going to grab another uh, incubator and do that. So far, just making a mess, trying to straighten up. And Lynn says she has a Calvin ball layout. So Lynn, let's bring you up here and add a spotlight. Uh, do you have your camera on? There we go. Perfect. I am awesome. having so much fun with Calvin Ball. And hey. I didn't think I had hedgehogs. And every time I look through my stash, I found more hedgehogs. So this is the layout I did today while we were talking. And I have a hedgehog down here in the bottom. There's a hedgehog up here somewhere right there. Then I thought this counted as a house. It's a birdhouse, but it's a house. I'll take it. <laughs> I haven't dated or done my journaling yet. But I pretty much have Oh, my bee up here. I really worked to get everything on this one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, uh, I love seeing how people fit it in and still make the pages their own. So I really love that you were able to do that. Um, it was fun. And it was certainly <laughs> nice listening to you as I was scrapping. Oh, thank you. I, I, uh, I really love doing these sessions. For me, it's just a chance to sit and play. And then I know I get something scrapbooked. <laughs> so confession, do more scrapbooking. That's one of the reasons that um, we added more um, scrapbook sessions to our Scrap Happy family last year or the year before. We started doing Scrap Happy Together sessions. We don't actually record those ones. They are just for our members to attend. We do two a month, one on a my Wednesday morning and one on my Friday night. So <laughs> take that to your own time zone as you will. <laughs> but um, I really love the sessions. It's very informal. We sometimes scrapbook, sometimes they don't. Yes, I'm seeing lots of love. That's adorable, Lynn. Very nice, Lynn. Cute. And so lots of love happening in the chat, which I always appreciate seeing. Uh, Betty, are you willing to share something with us? late joining in just got in so i'm i'm kind of behind a little bit oh did you want did you want to share um a layout is that what you were popping on for i was just going to work with you all scrapping oh, okay well, that's perfect okay <laughs> uh, uh, i will go there and uh, see Okay, so I don't see anybody else that has turned their mic off, so that's okay. But I will show you something uh, that I have here. I made a card. Now I am not a card maker. <laughs> I'm actually I've confessed a few times that I don't like making cards. Sometimes I make cards with leftovers. Um, I make cards because I I do, but I it's not my passion. But I really liked this one that I had made. So this, I had used a, a stamp and die set from Concord and Ninth. And so the, the black part is actually a die that I cut out with my Gemini machine. And I just loved how the ombre heart kind of worked out. And then I didn't have the perfect shade of pink cardstock. So 
I just took my ink pad that I used to make like the little heart or and the the title and I brushed it along um, the outside of the the card and so I didn't need to have the card stock that matched because I had the ink pad so I think this is a really good tip and it's one that I don't think of very often. Uh, did I see Debbie? Debbie, do you want to turn your um, audio on? You said that you were ready to share something. So I'll get you to turn your audio on if you can. And then I will replace the spotlight. Hi. So I've been working on a layout that uh, Shamel did yesterday with the best of both worlds. And it's actually about a crafting experience I had with some friends. Uh, so I was really happy to get to scrapbook that. I used some of the um, embellishments from Simple Stories, Hey Crafty Girl. They went really well with this particular set of photos. So enjoyed doing that this morning and having time with you guys too. That's a beautiful layout. And I love that you got to hang out and craft. Like I'm so looking forward to this afternoon where I get to see my friends in person and we're gonna scrapbook together and, you know, hanging out together online is definitely the second best thing but the first best thing is still in person like i'm looking forward to that too when you can hug it's just that much better <laughs> so virtual hugs to everybody thank you so much debbie for sharing i'll let you put yourself on mute and i will uh, switch my spotlight back here and uh debbie kennedy did you turn on your mic and then i see debbie hamill all the debbies are like what you called me <laughs> <laughs> so so if you have your mic on i will invite you to come up and share so debbie kennedy are you up for sharing something sure okay well let's uh let's see what you can see if you can give you a spotlight here so that we can see yeah this is what i worked on while you've been talking and they're not great pictures, but this is my grandson in the pool at the hotel just showing off for me. That's so fun. I know what it's at, like when you take the pictures and you're like, wow, I was taking pictures in the dark. <laughs> I know, but I have one more that I did this morning and it turned out pretty good. And that's wow. him at the beach sitting there. You can't see the picture very good, but he's like sugar coated and sand. He's just <laughs> that's how he likes it. So but I worked I, on that and okay. And do you have those little stickers popped up? Are yes. Up? How did yes? You and that? these are all different little waves with sharks and because you know he's a boy, he likes sharks. Yeah. How did and you it, pop yeah. up those little stickers? Because like that looks like that would be a lot of work. Well, I punch them out with craft foam. You know, you buy fun foam. That's okay. So you created the letters. Yes. Ah, okay. You, that... see, you know, you have fun foam that's got like sticky on the back. Mm -hmm. You cut them all at one time. You cut the backing and mm -hmm. the and the letter at the same time. Okay. And then this is just cut with sand paper that looks like sand. Cool. So you can't really tell, but anyway. Cool. Yeah. I know. No, I, hate I looked at those little letters. And I'm like, those like popped up. How did you do that? Because I can just imagine me sitting there with my roll of tape and trying to like pop up all these little bits. No, <laughs> and then letters. these That's letters that don't pop up, they that were cut mean. with that um, Gina K. It's like a double sided adhesive. Yeah. And you, cut the letters and then you peel the back and it makes sticky letters is what it makes right. yeah so that was I pretty have... easy awesome yeah okay that's it <laughs> yeah i have a little xyron i have the little uh xyron sticker maker thing and, and i use that thing all, all, I, I didn't use it for a little while and I pulled it out recently because I needed it because I was doing more die cut pieces that were little. Margie says it sure makes life easier. Absolutely. Having the tools that you need is important. Okay, Debbie Hamill, you are up. We'll, uh, we will bring you up if you are ready to come up. I will sure. replace the spotlight. There we go. I am admiring that bookshelf behind Debbie. 
that was so organized and nice. Um, it just really made me envious there for a minute. But um, I didn't do any layouts this morning, but I am getting ready to go to a crop on Wednesday, then stay till mm -hmm. Thursday. So I've been organizing my kits and doing all that to get ready. I just wanted to share that I appreciate not being able to scrap, but this is good scrapping virtually, but I am so looking forward to hugging my friends that I haven't seen in a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love, yeah, seeing the, the, the organized spaces, um, I'm seeing more comments about that. And they're like, she's so organized. I love oh, it. Debbie's right? is awesome. I love it. I'm actually also seeing Deborah Gardner's space up there and her space is looking pretty organized too. I'm like, yes, so I've seen her space. <laughs> <clears throat> I am desperately working on organizing my room. Um, I moved in a year ago and the, this room, of course, is the last one to be organized and unpacked, but I'm um, slowly but surely getting there. But I had a distraction this week getting ready for the crop and five full days of cropping with friends is priceless. <laughs> Definitely. Well, but thank you so much for That's coming. all I needed to share. Okay, Mickey, you. you are up next and we will replace the spotlight and bring up Mickey. Hello. Hello. So I made a Calvin ball layout. So I did memorabilia, which I guess I could cheat and say there's a house in there, but I'm not. Um, a musical symbol, a stencil, a date, I added vellum behind the photo. I used washi tape, the camera, stars that are gold, but I also have gold splatters. I don't know if they're gonna show up on here. There are gold splatters in there. Um, cool. And a die cut, and then green, yellow, and blue together. And so, and arrow. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. So did you do a total count on it so far? Yep. So including the points for sharing, it's an 18 point layout. There you go. <laughs> Margie says nice layout. Great layout. I've seen lots of love. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. I love seeing and and like to you, can I before we before we take you off, does it feel like a layout you would make? without Calvin Ball, like oh, hundred percent. Right. So I think that sometimes people are like, well, how am I going to do like hedgehogs and cobwebs or whatever the, the funny things are like, you don't yeah, have to, right? you, you, you know, find like, thing. like you said, it's, <laughs> it's a layout I would make anyway. And it includes things that I would include anyway. It's not going to stand out as like, oh, why is there a hedgehog on the Thanksgiving play layout? So yeah. You know, it's it's also not, you know, I, I didn't put the avocado or the hedgehog or even the rainbow shape, I didn't feel like was gonna really fit well on the with design it. of the layout. So I kind of start out with what I'm gonna make anyway and then go, well, what can I add that makes sense? The airplane's not gonna make sense for the, the Thanksgiving play. So yeah. then go on there. But the music note kind of fit, right? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's good. And if you're working on special projects during Calvin Ball and you want something added to the list, like we do take suggestions every day. I look at the suggestions and I obviously I can't pick them all. <laughs> we do have some limitations, but I do try to fit some of those in there. So, um, you know, the duck that got added that was requested by somebody that was working on baby pages. And so she'd requested a bunch of baby things. And instead of just giving carte blanche to all baby things, we picked a duck, which also fits into spring stuff. Like we saw that in my spring kit here today. So I think that um, we try to find some things that are specialized and some things that are not. And I'm always surprised by what people do to kind of, you know, just seeing the challenge. Uh, Margie says, I love seeing where people put the avocado. <laughs> There's that too. Thank you so much, Mickey, for coming up and uh, showing us. So this has just been so much fun. I just want to say thank you to everyone that joined me today, whether you're doing Calvin Ball or not, that's totally fine. Um, I'm just going to remind you, like you can check out 
the kits from the scrap room at scrap-room.com and Laura Ross, it was Laura Ross, Laura, um, did I get the name wrong? I might've, no, I think that's right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Laura, she will be getting her kit from the scrap room for her March kit as well. So she's going to have all of these fun things to play with. And um, I just think that it's a really great company to work with. So it, um, you know, I, I appreciate the fact that they were able to work with me so that I can do these live sessions with you once a month. Um, and I'm just happy to be able to support a company like that because uh, they're doing great things and the kits they put out are amazing. They have so much extra inspiration other than, you know, just the sketch or whatever. Um, they've got their freaky fast Friday formulas. They have um, a whole team that provides inspiration. They have a fabulous team that provides inspiration. And I, um, uh, yeah, I'm just really happy to be able to, to bring this to you and to give away a free kit from them every month. That's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, if you are curious about Calvin Ball, you can pop over to scraphappy.org slash Calvin Ball. It's a free challenge. So if you hop in it and you're like, well, this isn't my thing, um, that's fine too. I would encourage you to check out the live replay from our um we did a kickoff party. Check out the live replay of that. And any questions that you have about how does it actually work usually get answered in that session. Um, Adonis says, don't forget to tell them how to order under you. I don't actually have that set up. Not at all. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I didn't set up like any kind of thing with them. So it's totally fine. Just, just go and shop with them. And like, I'm sending my love their way. Um, yeah, and if you want to play Calvin Ball, then um, join us for the challenge. And you know, you've seen that it it can really be in whatever. Um, it can still be your style, but you can also push yourself to explore fun things in your challenge. Um, so just to clarify, after I post next time I post, I go add to that post. No, no, you just um, make a new post. And if you go to your own profile, you'll see that you can look at all your posts there, Sharon. Yeah. So maybe I'll uh, I'll do a little quick little um, video and kind of showcase that. Uh, yeah, I thought it was at the bottom where I order cherry on top. Note the scrap scrap dash room that'll take you right there. So thank you everyone for joining me for this session today. I um, I'm really excited. I can't wait to go and finish up my pages, my super fun page with the, the paper from Damask Love and this one from Photoplay I needs mean, my pictures added. It's going to be so much fun. And uh, yeah, I hope that you have a really good day today and uh, happy scrapping everyone. So uh, that's where we leave it today. Bye. Where it is, and then you'll. That's so sweet. Thank you.